everyone, this is Sylvia from Beauty Cakes and today I have my September favorites for you guys. I apologize if my voice sounds extra stuffy or annoying just because I'm getting sick, I can feel myself, my throat is hurting a lot so I'm going to try to get through this video quickly so that I don't strain my throat because it's starting to itch and irritate as I talk. I don't have a lot of makeup favorites this time around, uh, I have a lot of just random stuff. I'm really really loving um, China Glaze's Pink Plumeria. It's definitely one of my new go-to pinks, it's just um, a really cute dollyish pink with slight shimmers in it. The slimmers, the slimmers, the shimmers are so slight that you can't see them like from far away or anything like that. But up close, it really gives that extra pop and shine. It really just makes it a lot different from any other nail polish. Um, it is similar to Flip Flop Fantasy by China Glaze, but Flip Flop Fantasy failed for me because although it's a nice color, the formula is disgusting. It's chalky, it chips, it's horrible. It chipped after like one day and it's just really difficult to put on and it's gross. This is basically the same color with a better formula and it has nice shimmers that just help you um, give that extra shine to your nails. The next thing is a nail art deco tool actually and there's these little pink bows and um, I've been out of the whole nail art scene for a little while. If, if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't put up any like new nail art tutorials I don't know it just got boring for me and I just got less creative with my nails I guess so I've been always just wearing like you know regular just solid coated nails but um, I wanted to play with my art deco stuff because I haven't touched it in a while so I went with this and um, I'll show you guys a picture of what I did with it I really like it it's just really cute and I just feel like it gives that little pop to a simple manicure so I'll definitely be doing stuff like this more often just because I love the look of 3d bows I'm really into Japanese styled um, nail art moving on to accessories jewelry random stuff kind of thing um, I'm loving my phone case that I have this was sent to me by blingcases.com I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They just sent me a bunch of stuff to see if I like and I absolutely love this. I love the gradient that it has to it and the gems have stayed on really nicely. I've been using this for more than a month now and it stayed on so nicely. Um, a lot better than the other ones that I buy off eBay or something. The gems just fall off really easily but this one's so much sturdier. Number one thing that I love about this is that they have the outside um, one as well. A lot of times with cases that have bling on them, it's just the backing and then the front is like naked, nothing is like protecting the front. So I love that it's two parts, it splits open in half and I love the fact that it has the outside. That's basically what I look for when I look for phone cases now. I want the outside piece as well. Okay, so the next thing I've been ab absolutely obsessed with for, for the month of September are Pandora bracelets. Um, the charm bracelets that you like build your own charms. My boyfriend got me one. Uh, like a couple weeks back and ever since then I've been obsessed with buying uh, charms. Within that week that he bought me the um, bracelet I went out and bought like 5 billion charms and I have another bracelet with charms as well but this one's my favorite that I like to wear. I still have a little bit more to fill but I'm trying to hold back because I've been spending way too much money on charms. The last piece of jewelry I'm going to show you guys is this cute little infinity necklace. Um, you guys may have seen me wear it before. I wear it in a lot of my videos actually. And it's my dog eared and it's just so dainty and cute. I'm loving dainty jewelry lately and I just love the whole infinity sign thing. I think it it's cute with a lot of meaning behind it. So yeah, I have a bracelet that's like best friend bracelet for infinity sign. This is from Tiff & Co. Um, but yeah, this necklace is so cute and it's so dainty. It's just perfect and I absolutely love it. Now moving on to clothing favorites. I don't usually do clothing favorites, but I feel like I have a couple things that are worth mentioning. So the first thing is a bra. I know this is really weird, but you guys asked me a lot about it and I realized that, you know what, I should include my favorites because it has been my favorite. So this is the Mia bra from Airy. And it looks like this. Um, well, I got the lacy one. And on the back, it is a push-up bra. So on the back, there's like little pockets of air. I can't talk anymore. There's like little pockets of air, which is a lot different from a lot of other push-up bras where they just have that like, you know, um, perforated area right here. But this one is on the bottom, which is I find why it gives so much lift. Um, as you guys saw in like my previous video, I think it's the... August lookbook. You guys are commenting on how big my boobs looked. Um, well, first of all, it was because I was on my period, so I usually gain a cup size when I'm on my period. And second of all, I was wearing this bra, and it really does help a lot. Between a size 32A and 32B, it just kind of depends on the bra itself. Some B cups are smaller, so I can fit in some. Some A cups are bigger, so I can fit in them. I don't know. It's just really different for all kind of bras. Um, I fit into the 32A and the 32B for this. Both fit really, really nicely, and there's barely a difference. But 
but I did go with the 32A just because I was scared that it was going to stretch out a little bit and plus when it's tighter it tends to give me a little bit more lift which is what I want. Um, it comes with straps as well but I just usually wear it strapless because it holds up really well. Oh, and because the bands are so big over here, when you wear it as a strapless bra, it holds up so nicely. Usually with strapless bras, because I don't have the boobs to fill it, it slides down um, after a little while, but this one has held it really nicely because it's so tight around here and plus the bigger band helps um, hold everything up better. My next thing is my chambray shirt. You guys will probably have seen this in my September lookbook um, that I've worn this a lot in my September lookbook and I've worn it so much in September. It's just, I feel like it's such a fall essential. Um, it just goes nicely, keeps you warm enough without being too hot and it just looks good. Like denim is making a big comeback. So um, I got this one from Maritzia. It's by TNA. And I'm not going to lie, this one was really pricey, but I was looking for one for a really, really long time because uh, I went to try on a bunch of different ones like at Garage, American Eagle, and they were all cheaper, but they didn't look right on me. When I put them on, it looked really too boyish for me. It just looked really butch on me, like I looked like a guy in them. So um, I spent the extra money on this. It was $95 before tax. I spent the extra money on this because it is a, such a nice like feminine figure and it just was the only one that looked really good on me. I honestly didn't want to spend $100 on a chambray shirt, but it was the only one that looked good on me. I looked everywhere else and plus I've gotten a lot of wear out of it so I don't regret it whatsoever. I feel like it's a really good investment. Um, if I'm going to buy something that's $100, I know I'm going to wear it many, many, many times and I've worn it like basically all through September. I absolutely love it. Wear it so many different ways. If you want to see it style, check out my um, September lookbook. Last thing I want to show you guys is an article of clothing. As you guys know or may not know, I'm like a knit connoisseur. I love knits. When the fall time come around, comes around, I get really excited. I go out and buy a lot of knits because I, I just love knits for some reason. I don't know. It's so comfy and cozy. I just really like the look of it as well. So um, my favorite knit sweater right now is from Garage. It's really hard to tell like this because it's so droopy, but um, you can see it styled in my September lookbook as well. It looks like this. It's kind of a poncho style and it has big buttons here, a hoodie, and it's just a, it's not, it's a, what is it called? Like a short sleeve kind of thing. It's like bat winged and I absolutely love it. It's so comfy and I wear it all the time, um, just under things, layering with it, um, on top of things, I don't know, buttoned up, opened up, I don't know, I just wear it a lot. Um, and this only comes in one size. Um, but it is around, I think, $40, 40 or $50, 30 40 $50 dollars at a garage. Um, yeah, really random place to find something so cute in it. So, uh, my favorite song of the month, uh, I've been doing a lot of studying since I'm back to school now, and when I study, I really need, like, mellow, calming music, and I found that a lot in my Justin Bieber songs. So right now, I'm really loving Justin Bieber's Be Alright, and also Carly Rae Jepsen featuring Justin Bieber called Beautiful. Um, those songs are just really, like, motivating for me to do my homework, apparently. And my favorite TV show this month is X Factor USA. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. The auditions are hilarious. Not to mention, I love all the judges. Um, I love that Britney Spears is judging. I'm such a big fan of her. I've always been a fan of her since I was a little girl, so I think she's hilarious on the show. Demi Lovato is super cute, and I think her and Simon Cowell's relationship together on the show is so funny, um, and I absolutely love Simon Cowell. Like, he is my husband, but he just doesn't know it yet. Anyway, so that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, sorry if it's really, really rushed. It's just my voice really hurts right now. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. And see ya. That's where it was.